Animation. It's the change from one CSS style to another over the dimension of time. Every animation has at least two states, a starting point and an ending point. When you move from start to finish, CSS will calculate all of the values in between. In computer science, this is called in-betweening, or a tween animation. Imagine we have an element that we want to fade in over a duration of one second. When the animation starts, the browser calculates a new opacity value for every frame rendered, and it does so using a linear timing function, which means the amount of change that occurs to the CSS value is exactly the same for each unit of time. But in the real physical world, things rarely move at a perfect linear pace. Things ease in, ease out, and change their velocity gracefully. You can do the same in your CSS animations by providing a timing function. There are many built-in functions, or you can define your own custom Bezier curve. The easiest way to create an animation with CSS is with a transition. Start by adding the transition property to a selector. The first value is the property that you want to animate. In our case, it's opacity. The second value is the duration. You can define it in seconds or milliseconds. Now, whenever the opacity for this element changes, CSS will automatically handle the animation for you. For example, we can target the hover pseudo selector and change the opacity to one. And that's all it takes to create a fade in, fade out animation with CSS. We can refine this animation by adding an additional value for a delay or a timing function. Use a built-in easing function or create your own custom Bezier curve. But what if you want to animate something forever or in multiple steps? Keyframes allow you to define animations independent of a selector. First, give your keyframe animation a name. Then define your starting styles with from and your ending styles with to. Any intermediate styles or steps in the animation can be defined as a percentage in relative time to the starting point. If your animation is four seconds long, then 25% would be one second into that animation. You can use this animation by referencing it as the animation name in one of your selectors. Give it a duration and timing function, then change the iteration count to infinite to make it loop forever. This has been CSS animation in 100 seconds. Hit the like button if you want to see more short videos like this. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.